Hey everyone, Brian here with DIY Outdoor Life. Today is a super exciting day at the channel because the snow is melting. We take the ATV out, we're putting the snowmobiles away. I can turn the setting down on my electric vest a little bit. Spring is here. But with spring come the release of some really cool camping products. And I don't know that I've ever been so excited to talk about a product on the channel as I am about the brand new EcoFlow River 2 Pro. Sounds like a mouthful. I can't wait to tell you guys about this system. It gets released today. There's some unbelievable things to talk about and the pricing is amazing. So let's get into this. So folks, today is the release date for the River 2 Pro. This isn't crowdfunding or anything like that. You can order it on Amazon or Factory Direct and they're gonna ship this out to your house. I was able to get my hands on this several weeks early so I could do some thorough testing to be able to put a video out on the release day. The reason I did that is because EcoFlow is notorious for these door busting deals. They offer some unbelievable prices for the first few days that the product is out and then it sets back to its normal MSRP. So I worked really hard to be able to get this video out on the day that this comes out so you can take advantage of those deals. Some of it is still a mystery. I know I have uh, exclusive promo codes, bundling deals, discounts for Amazon, factory direct all of that is going to be in this video's description so if this is the product for you check that out to try to take advantage of these amazing prices but this is a really exciting product it has everything that i loved in the river too all of those upgrades but it's about three times the size so i'm going to take you through all the features share my testing with you but let's start with the good stuff the stuff that's so exciting about this product the River 2 Pro is built off a 768 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery. That's going to be good for over 3000 cycles before the system starts to lose some of its capability. That's why they're able to give you a five year warranty. In the power station world that's kind of unheard of. A lot of companies still offering one year warranties, some are offering two. It's excellent to see a five year warranty. There's no reason why this system can't last you over 10 years even if you use it regularly. This comes with four AC receptacles, a pure sine wave inverter. It's good for up to 800 watts. We're gonna put the size and the weight of this River 2 Pro on the screen, but for a power station of that size, that's some unbelievable ability here. There's even a feature that allows you to double that capability. So by using the app, you can use the X-Boost feature to get 1600 watts out of this inverter. That's only gonna be good for resistive loads. We'll talk about what that means. Maybe a simple tea kettle at the campsite, but that's not gonna be good for things like air conditioners or anything with microchips in them. Now, this also has UPS capability. We'll circle back to all of this stuff, but uninterruptible power supply. That means you can plug a device in at home a Wi-Fi router, a computer, a fish tank, whatever. And when this is plugged into the wall, it's gonna power that device, but when the power goes out, it's instantaneously gonna use the battery in your power station to keep that appliance on without any interruption. That's very, very handy. You have a regulated DC plug. You can use that to power refrigerators or any of your camping gear. There's some 5521s, and we'll talk about how to use those. A simple screen here that tells you what you need to know. How much charge is coming in, how much you're discharging through the appliances that you're running. There's three USB A's and a bi-directional USB power delivery. That means you can fast charge your USB devices, you can power things like MacBooks, but because it's bi-directional, you can charge this system with your laptop charger. You don't need any other charging devices to do that. We're gonna talk about how they come with this, but that's a really, really nice feature that'll even allow you to supplement your solar on this. So some amazing stuff here. In addition to the power delivery charging, there's three additional ways to charge. You can charge from the wall, from utility power, but you don't need 
some big clunky block that comes with most power stations. In fact, you just need the cord that comes on the end of it. They're going to include this AC cord with your purchase, but if you forget it, lose it, you know, leave it at home, these cords are available at every single hardware store there is. It's a simple AC cord that plugs into this, so that's gonna be very, very convenient as well. You're gonna get about 950 watts into this system. In all of my testing, it charged in under an hour. I usually leave the last little bit of the battery as a best practice, maybe 10, 15%, but if you run it down to zero, it still charges up to 100% in 70 minutes. So that is best in class charging capability with no additional products that you have to purchase. It's built into the system. So that's a huge advantage. If that wasn't good enough, there's an app that you can change the charging speed. So if you wanna plug it in overnight or you want it to charge more quietly, you can turn that charge down with the app and the fans and everything turned down with it. It's really hard to be, it's an exciting time to be a power station enthusiast. You got a DC charger that'll plug into your car that comes with it. It plugs into this XT plug and gives you about 100 watts into the system. But you can use that same plug with the included cable that goes to MC4s. That's gonna accept any solar panel on the market. You can convert anything into an MC4 if it didn't come with it. It's up to 50 volt capability. If you wanna put your solar panels in series, you can do that with this system. But the current limit is 13 amps. So we're gonna be dealing with about a 220 watt limit on this power station. That's gonna allow you to charge in you know four to six hours usually, depending on your solar conditions. I think that's completely appropriate for a power station of this size. Remember, we're talking about a portable power station. It's very portable. So I plugged 300 watts of solar into this. It handled it fine. It maxed out around 220 watts but any more than 300 watts of solar is probably not considered portable. So this hooks up together really nicely with a bunch of panels on the market, or if you wanna save money, buy some discount panels, plug it in, it can charge off any solar panel on the market. So I'm trying to move through this video a little bit more quickly. There's a lot to say about this product, but again, I'm most excited about the pricing. I want you to check the links in the description because there's half price solar panel bundles, there's big coupons, and there's multiple ways to purchase this. If you like Amazon or Factory Direct, EcoFlow is offering a point system that uh, when you add up the points, you can get free accessories or even money off a new power station. Lots of cool stuff here. But let's just go over some of the detailed features and finish with the pros and cons. There's an application an app that you get on your phone or a tablet. This is a huge advantage. It's not just a gimmick. This is a high quality app that allows you to monitor your screen, turn features on and off, set timers on things. So you can turn your DC plugs off after a period of time, or you can leave them on continuously. You can adjust, like I said, the charging speed, but you can monitor this anywhere in the world through Wi-Fi or if you're not in a Wi-Fi signal, this device will pair with your phone and work at a pretty good distance. I've been using this for several weeks with that app and I'm very, very impressed. I was even able to tell that the power went off at my house when I was on the road by using that app. The app is also gonna offer you over the air updates. This saves you money and value. These companies tweak things. They improve performance, efficiency, add features, and you can download that onto this system so it continues to update and get new firmware as time goes on. That means, like some of the other systems that are just locked in time, that there's gonna be some built-in future-proofing and value in, in regards to that app. So let's circle back real quick to some of this inverter performance. I told you that it has a true UPS. 
EcoFlow advertises that a little differently. What I'm sharing with you is my testing. This UPS worked on everything that I put it through. It worked on my television, my computer, my Wi-Fi router, an old laptop with a, a bad battery in it. I tried it on a lot of devices. What this means is that you plug your power station into the wall. You plug something into the inverter. It's going to power that appliance through the utility company. It just passes through the power station into your device. It doesn't use the power station's battery. But if the utility is interrupted, it nearly instantaneously switches over to the battery. So the power goes out and your Wi-Fi router doesn't reset. Your desktop doesn't reset. It seamlessly keeps running. If you turn your generator off at the campsite, what you have plugged into it does not get interrupted. This ability depends on the device that you're using, but the only thing I can vouch for is I couldn't find a single device that reset. It meant that this UPS worked on everything that I could put it through, and I'm very confident it's gonna work for you as well. It's important to understand that this is not pass-through charging. A lot of beginners are still getting this mixed up. If you're using something like a Jackery and you do that, it's actually using the battery and charging the battery at the same time. That's why the owner's manual tells you not to do that for long. It'll actually wear the battery out if you keep it plugged in that way. With this system, not only does it have five times the cycle life on the battery, there's actually a mechanical switch that turns it from utility power to battery power, which means there's no battery fatigue. So for beginners, if that's confusing to you, just know that it's a really fancy feature and it's gonna come in handy if you need that sort of uninterrupted power supply at home. Now I told you before, I want you to exercise caution with that X-Boost feature. It's really cool to double the output of these outlets. Just leave that feature turned off unless you really know what you're doing. This system with the X-Boost will double the wattage, so to speak, that you can draw out of these outlets. It does that by letting the voltage drop and boosting the current. That's fine for resistive loads like simple heaters, but if you plug an AC, an air conditioner, a refrigerator, a microwave, it could actually ruin those devices. If you leave the X-Boost turned off and you try to do something that this system can't handle, it'll simply reset the outlet and it, you won't be able to continue running that appliance. With X-Boost on, it will let you try to run a microwave, but it will ruin your microwave. So that X-Boost feature is for very simple heating de uh, devices. I want you to do some research on that. I got a yard sale tea kettle and it works great. I can get hot water at the campsite and I couldn't think of doing that on a power station that costs anywhere near as much as this one does. So it's a neat feature, exercise caution. The power delivery input on this, it allows you, like I said, to use a laptop charger, but you can also supplement the car charging or even add to the solar charging. Throw a 220 panel into the back and you can use an additional 100 watt power delivery panel, which a lot of new solar panels come with, to get even faster solar charging out of this device. The wall charger is fast enough in the turbo setting that there's no need to do that. It's not gonna add much to it. But do know that that power delivery input, which isn't offered on Blue Eddy, is a really, really cool feature. So let's wrap this video up with some pros and cons. I normally get to spend a lot more time with power stations before I do a review like this, but I really wanted you guys to be able to take advantage of this door busting pricing, and I wanted to be able to have that video out right when this product became available. As far as the pros, I think the build quality is really good. I like the design. I like the handle, the flat top. It provides strain relief. So if you slide this into a shelf, it doesn't bend on the plugs. There's some really smart design, just like there was with the plain River 2 that just came out. 
I got good efficiency numbers. I think with the firmware update, they might even get better. But I got mid 80s as far as the efficiency on both the outlet and the regulated DC output. Those are standard numbers that all of the name brands are giving you. I love the bi-directional USB. I love how fast it charges from the wall. As far as the cons to this system, they probably could have gave you a wireless charger on the top. I know a lot of other brands are sticking with that wireless, I don't know what it's called, <laughs> QI charger or something that you put on the top. It's not something I use a lot, but I know some people would have been interested in that. If they really wanted to set the world on fire, they could have tried to be impressive with a 440 watt solar capability. I know companies like to advertise that, but I do think this is realistic. Most people are not bringing 400 watts of solar with them when they're camping. And if they are, they're gonna come up short with this River 2 Pro. Now, in the past, EcoFlow fans drove me crazy. It sounds like somebody is driving a drone inside your camper or tent when you're using it. They, you're gonna be happy to hear they made some major improvements with their fan. It's not just the decibels. It's an annoying sound. So when you plug this bad boy into the turbo charge, I still hear a little bit of that annoying sound, but it is much more quiet, much more modulated and turns on and off than the older EcoFlow models. The ability to use the app to turn that charger down, you can lower the input wattage and that certainly makes it much more quiet. I have no complaints about the sound that this River 2 Pro makes. So with all of this stuff being said, I do think it's probably the best power station in that 500 to 1000 watt range that I've ever tested. Let's see what uh, Blue Eddy does as a response to this. But right now, this one is certainly the king of the hill. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hopefully we'll be out camping soon. Check out those links in the description. Feel free to ask any questions if I miss something.